Devin the Dream Haney should Sonic ring all the belts and move up. Let's talk. Kill Pull back a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get the sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Yo, it's the best fight, the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried. Too many come, but don't leave. So if you're here, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. I bring the truth to these fans, so why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the pants. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get you dead to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So Devin Haney um, was literally forced to fight Cambosa. Literally. Devin wanted to fight Tank, and he wanted to fight um, Lomachenko. Tank Davis is going to fight Michelle Rivera, who's about to be his fucking mandatory, or he's either number one or number two. Je Actually, he's number two because Jezra Corrales is number, well... He's number three because Ryan Garcia jumped to number one. Jazz Rock Corrales was number two. And Michelle Rivera was number three. Um, with the number one being vacant. And then Ryan Garcia jumped into the number one spot. By beating a fucking nobody. A uh, 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 has been. Whatever. Um, but now Jazz Rock Corrales is number two. And Michelle Rivera is number three. So that is who Tank is going to fight, Michelle Rivera. Why? Because Ryan Garcia clout chased this man and bounced. That's why. Um, Devin Haney wanted to fight Lomachenko. He said it, both of them by name. I am the man. I want to fight Tank or I want to fight Loma. I do not want to fight anybody else. It is Tank and Loma. If Tank was out of the picture, Lomachenko was pro bro. That, I get it. Loma Depp with Tank, you know, he's dealing with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather really don't want Tank to surpass him, and he wants to he wants to keep Tank paid, but keep him underneath of him, not surpass him. Um, and Tank has the opportunity to do that, but he don't want that. Um, so that's why Tank is really not getting any of these fights, holding the conversation. But the Lomachenko fight is right there. It is primed and ready right there. All right, right there. This man fights on ESPN. Lomachenko fights on ESPN. All right, Devin Haney is the undisputed champion. Lomachenko claims he wants undisputed. That's what he claims. Whole reason why he went to 135 is he said he wants to be undisputed. Hold of the conversation. BF will get to that too. But what I want Devin to do is tell Lomachenko to kiss my motherfucking black ass. That's what I want Devin to do. Lomachenko does not deserve to fight Devin Haney. Lomachenko has beaten no... If you guys run around here crying like hoes about T, uh, Keith Thurman, where he's ranked at. Oh, Keith Thurman's ranked so high, man. Keith Thurman, man. It's crazy. Why is Keith Thurman ranked so high, man? If you guys are running around here crying about Keith Thurman ranked number one... After beating Mario Berrios, why are you? Why isn't anybody saying anything about Lomachenko? He's beaten nobody. At least Keith Thurman beat Mario Berrios for a number one ranking. Vasil Lomachenko beat no one. He's beaten no one. Absolutely no one. Nakatani Tukituki, a guy that Tiafimo beat. 
So you beat Tuki Tuki in that something? Richard Comey, another guy that TFEMO beat, a guy that ducked Devin Haney, and that makes you number one? So anybody that beats Tuki Tuki or Richard Comey automatically jumps to number one? That doesn't even make any motherfucking sense. All right? Lomachenko needs to beat somebody. He needs to fight somebody to earn that, sp that position, that spot. He's beaten no one. He's fought no one. I don't give a fuck what his Olympic was. We are not in the Olympics. This right now is the professionals. He has beaten nobody. Niggas is dick riding this dude because this man is, oh, his long of speed, the footwork, the combination of angles. Bro, you beat no one. I get what you did in the past. We're not in the past. We live in the right now. And right now, you beat no one. But yet, you had an opportunity to fight Devin. Straight away, after beating no one. Straight away, you had an opportunity. And instead of fighting Devin, you want a tune-up against your sparring partner. But don't nobody want to talk about that? Nobody wants to talk about it. You want a tune-up against your sparring partner. Now, what reason is this? What reason do you, do, do, do you have to fight a fucking tune-up? All right? You are longer out of the ring between your fight, with, uh, um, your bum ass, one bum-ass fight you had, and then the fight with, with Luke Campbell and Tiafimo Lopez. You were longer out of the ring. That was a 14-month gap. You have only been out of the ring for eight months. But now you need a tune-up. And you've been out of the ring for eight months before. So why do you need a tune-up for Devin Haney? Bob Arum said Devin, there's 10 better lightweights than Devin Haney. That's what Bob Arum said. Like a year and a half, two years ago. Did all these lightweights move up, die, go away, retire? What the fuck are we talking about? Because the man said this. There is 10 better lightweights than Devin Haney. Devin Haney needs to prove that he can even compete with Lomachenko before they make that fight. He was his mandatory. What did this guy that he's about to fight, Jeremiah, whatever the fuck, what did he prove? What did he prove? That he could beat Jamel Herring? He fights at 130. This is a guy going to 135 who just beat Jamel Herring at 130. You beat an age, an, a past his prime Jamel Herring at 130. Now you're moving up to 135 to fight Vasil Lomachenko. Well, what did he prove? I, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. And if that's the case, why don't you just move Shakur Stevenson up to fight Lomachenko? If that's the case. Shakur proved a lot. So what are, what are we talking about? Devin Haney needs to fucking sonic boom ring these motherfucking belts everywhere. Me blow them motherfuckers up. Oh, come on, BF. Now, why you want to do that, man? Because, oh, fuck Lomachenko. So you want to give Lomachenko the easy route? So Loma gets the easy route, but everybody else got to go the hard route? Loma has the complexion for the protection. The motherfucker got, what, 16, 17, 18 fights with two losses. But yet here he is right again, right back at the top. Right again. Right there at the top for fighting for a belt with two losses. And it wasn't to the same person. You lost to two different motherfuckers. But yet you're still in the pound pound list. Still in the pound pound rankings. And Devin Haney is not. Devin Haney, who beat the nigga, who that, that, who beat the nigga that beat the nigga that beat his ass. And Devin Haney is not in the pound pound rankings. Oh man, Cambozo ain't shit. Yeah, Cambozo is not shit. But he beat Tiafimo Lopez. Oh, but Tio ain't shit. Yeah, well Tio ain't shit either. And he beat Lomachenko. So if Bozo ain't shit and Tio ain't shit, then what is Lomachenko? Oh, come on, BFDB. Styles make fights. Okay, cool. Styles do make fights. But we just established that Bozo and Tio ain't shit. So if Styles make fights, but Lomachenko lost to a nigga who ain't shit, all three of them get flushed down the same toilet. I don't give a fuck if you're in America or in Australia where one of the where the water spins this way in America and it spins that way in Australia, they all go down the same fucking toilet. Lomachenko does not deserve to fight Devin Haney. 
He does not at all. Now, I, I get it. We talk about the best fighting the best. I understand. I am BFTB. I want the best to fight the best. But I'm telling you that motherfucker don't deserve to fight Devin at all. At all. He does not deserve to fight him. He's done nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, he's a detriment to Devin. That's not a plus. It's a detriment. You fought Luke Campbell. You fought Luke Campbell when Devin was signed to fight this man. Locked in, signed to fight. You came in, petitioned for that. No problem. So if Devin is trying to fight you right now, Devin's saying, fuck a tune-up, fight me now. I'm the champion. I don't need to wait for none of you niggas. But yet, you need a tune-up. Then you're not ready for Devin, is what you're telling me. Because that's what a tune-up means. A tune-up means I'm not ready for the competition in front of me. I need a tune-up. I am not ready. So if you're not ready when Devin is, then I guess you lost your fucking opportunity. So what I want Devin to do is blow all them shits up. You are the undisputed champion of the world. Pick a belt and go to 140 and fight for it. That's what I want Devin to do. That's what he's worked for. That's what he earned. That's what he deserves. And Lomachenko deserves to fucking go around collecting up these motherfucking belts at 135 after Devin blows that shit the fuck up. He does not deserve to get fucking one fight and then he's got undisputed. One fight after ducking Devin Haney and still right now currently ducking Tank Davis. Ducking Tank and ducking Devin, you get one fight and you get undisputed. And then what? You start calling for Tank Davis again? No, fuck that. Make this nigga go the hard way. That everybody made Devin go the hard way. Oh, man, come on, BF. We finally got all the belts together, man. We can, we can know who the man is. No, we won't. No, what the fuck we won't. What we will know is that Devin collected all the belts and gave this man a shot at them. That's what we will know. Devin don't need to wait for anybody. He is the undisputed champion of the world which means that everybody should be gunning for him. And that's not the case. The two niggas he's calling out are not gunning for him. They're gunning for other motherfuckers. It's not about seeing who's the best with them motherfuckers. It's not about that. And again, it's not about Tank. I, I fuck with Tank. But these are facts. It's not about gunning down, who, seeing who's the best. No, nah, I, I know I'm the best, blah, blah, blah. It's about um, fans saying, oh, no, Devin ain't this. It's really this guy or it's really that guy. When Devin has all the belts. All of them. And I don't remember motherfuckers saying that about Usyk. When Usyk was undisputed at, at Cruiserweight. I don't remember anybody saying, oh man, well, Usyk really is in demand. It's this guy. Or it's that guy. I don't remember anybody telling Terrence Crawford uh, at 140 that he ain't the man. It's really this guy or really that guy. I don't remember this. Now, but it's only Devin? Only Devin's got to go through that? Only Devin. Fine. Sonic ring blast. Blow them motherfuckers all over the place. Do them shits like Dragon Ball Z after the motherfucker made a wish and blow them motherfuckers all over the place and make these punk ass niggas go find them. Go track them down. They don't deserve to get one fucking shot at you. They don't deserve it at all. Now, I, me knowing Devin the way I know Devin, he's more than likely going to fight this man. He's more than likely going to fight this man. But I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh, God, BFTB, I thought you were the best fight, the best man. I thought you, man, fuck this Peckerwood. Fuck Lomachenko. But, so, so the niggas got to give Loma a shot. But Loma don't got to get the niggas a shot. Right? So when Loma could have fought Devin, his fucking mandatory, you know, he, oh, no, Devin's, Loma's really the champion. Devin, he don't want, but Devin was his fucking mandatory. He was his mandatory. But this Peckerwood didn't have to give Devin, oh, I don't got to give Devin ain't shit. Who's Devin? I, I don't got to give him no shot. I don't got to do this. Blah, blah, blah. You go become the franchise champion. And now the franchise is gone. Vanished. And you are mysteriously number one in the WBC. And Devin's supposed to fight you. Devin, I know you're going to fight this man. I know you are. I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to talk you out of it. <laughs> Fuck Lomachenko. He don't deserve nothing. He don't deserve a motherfucking thing. 
uh, if 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 um you're so small, Lomachenko so small, he's such a small guy, then why didn't you fucking become undisputed at 130 or 126? The reason why is because you saw fucking smooth sailing at 135. That's why. You saw smooth sailing. Yeah. Was no killers. Was no monsters. Was nobody up there. You saw smooth sailing. So let me go to 135 and become undisputed up there. Nice and easy. Easy road. Just skate on down to fucking undisputed. There's nobody there for you to fight. No names, nothing. You can go up there as the great white hype and hope job. And you can fight a bunch of fucking nobodies and bums. And here you are, undisputed. The, the greatest fighter since Muhammad Ali. The speed, the footwork, the combination, and the angles. But you was at 126 and you could have became undisputed there. You chose not to. You was at 130. You could have became undisputed there. You chose not to. You got to 135. You could have became undisputed there. But instead, you chose to duck your mandatories. To petition for a fucking fake ass belt that no longer even exists anymore. It existed for all of two and a half, three years. And now it's gone. The irony. This motherfucker does not deserve a shot at Devin Haney at all. He deserves to fight somebody first. Yeah, the same thing they told Devin Haney about, oh, Devin ain't fight nobody. Man, who did Devin fight? Devin ain't do shit. Devin needs to do this. Devin needs to do that. He needs to prove that he can even stay in the, room, the ring with a Lomachenko. Okay, well then Lomachenko needs to prove that he don't have no ring rust. He needs to prove that by fighting a Jezreel Corrales. By fighting a Michelle Rivera. By fighting a Gervonta Tank Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but fighting one of those guys. Yeah, and there's others that he can fight too. Yeah, yeah, there's some heat up that motherfucker. You can fight Pitbull Cruz. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, you can fight Isak Pitbull Cruz. You can fight him, Vasil Lomachenko. I wonder why you're not. I wonder why. No Jojo Diaz? I wonder why you're picking your fucking sparring partner. You don't deserve to fight Devin Haney. You do not deserve it. And I hope that he does not fight you. I hope he does not give you an opportunity for shit. That's what I hope. BFTB. Shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC. And I'm out.